You are slowly destroying our family. But no more. What? The fuck you gonna be having it upside down for? Because your life is upside down. Now what I'm about to do to you? What? What? It's not for Marcus. Or for Michelle. Or for Johnny. But for you, my brother. For me? How did you do shit for me? Huh? You supposed to have a bag. You got me upside down like I'm some fucking gangster movie? Who you think you are? Tony Montana? Wait, wait, wait. What is over? Over. Over what the fuck you saying? You just think you can leave me after all these years, Mike? After all this time we've been together, Mike, you just... Exactly. I know we put some years in, all right? And look, granted, you helped me with my wife pass. All right, we've had a great time. But I told you, you gotta stop that stripping shit. And I told you, you don't have to strip no more. Look, my daughter is getting older, and I don't want her around that shit. So I have to move on. After all the shit I did for you, after all that work I moved for you, you really think it's gonna be that simple to get rid of me? Fuck that's supposed to be. Punk ass nigga. I'm pregnant. The pretty twin ain't like that shit. Said, hey, bitch, come in. You out your motherfucking mind? Come in. And go to say, Mr. Pretty Tony. I mean, you know the rules of the game. I mean, your bitch just chose me. Now, we consider this like we got some class. We can get some gangster shit. It was a misunderstanding and how nothing happened. But what were you doing with her in the first place? Okay. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you for now. You better be. Okay. Okay. Now, that money I got from John wasn't from a playoff bet. When we were at the art gallery, we saw Regina there. Long story short, he was telling me that um, he tried to get at her. She wasn't feeling him. So he bet me $50,000 that I couldn't get her number and go out with her on a date. What? That, that was it. There was no kissing. No, babe, listen, seriously, no kissing, no. So then he threw in, you know, it could help with your new business venture. And I'm thinking, you're right, it could help with my new business venture. So I went up to her. And uh, I told her the truth. I told her what the bet was. She said, okay, she's a businesswoman first and she'll do it if I have the money. Hey, Mac. I don't think Pam gonna make it. Did you see that? Nah, she gonna be okay. You know, I'm actually kind of happy she's a new boss chick. Mm. I'm waiting to slide into that, you know. You mean under that, right? Why are you always trying to correct me? I say I'm sliding into that okay well um unfortunately for you she doesn't even date your color or your kind so i kind of think it's going to be impossible for you to slide in or under that so I'm, mm. just, I'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> it's funny that you say that because you didn't date anybody my uh my kind and my race it's after that christmas party huh John. i've been calling you what are you still doing up I just told you, I've been calling. <laughs> dramatic? Oh, I'm dramatic. You coming here drunk looking like that? <laughs> huh? So let me ask you something, all right? And look, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to argue with you. Just tell me the truth. You fuck another nigga? No. No, 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 no. Hold on, because hold on. Yeah. Yeah. He smells of that nigga's cologne. 